It is. Did you enjoy the Imagineering story on Disney Plus? Yeah. Did you enjoy Behind the Attraction on Disney Plus? I've only seen a, one of them. Just say yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I've got good news for you, brother. <laughs> we call it Imagineering. It's coming to YouTube. It's a brand new series all about behind the scenes at the Disney parks. We call it Imagineering. Imagineering and they've just dropped a trailer. So we watch it. Yeah, sure, yeah. Let's go. Do I have a choice? No. Today I'm walking the halls of Walt Disney Imagineering to show you things that no one else has gotten to see. How do the two of you work together to make this masterpiece? Well, we battle. <laughs> <laughs> What's cool about it already is the other shows that I mentioned, the Imagineering story, Behind the Attraction, I feel like they're really talking about the old school Disney mm -hmm. and like the history of things. I think this is more about what they're working on now, right. which is potentially a different angle, could be quite exciting. <laughs> Walt Disney Imagineering first started designing, planning and building Disneyland. Let me show you a little bit. It's not completed yet, but this inspired all the... How do you feel about all these weird... It feels like we're looking at it through like some... Uh, Lens of like LSD. No, you going on a trip, bro? It, do you not feel like that? Every like image all the is like blurry and... and it's like a bit weird and it's a bit. Watch it again. Walt Disney Imagineering first started designing, yeah. planning, and building yeah. Disneyland. Let me show you a little bit. It's not completed yeah. yet. Yeah. But... Okay. There. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just constant. What's going on? What was messing with your mind a little bit? Yeah, but it's also the music like. Mm. Yeah, I did think that. Yeah. What? It's a horror film, <laughs> Disney, but that's to get you. Let me show you a little bit. It's not completed yet, but this inspired all the great audio animatronic attractions around the world. I say Alien. Yeah, they had like an Alien ride at one point that they then rebranded to be like Stitch, the escape. It, it was like too scary for Magic Kingdom. It was so, a Magic Kingdom. Alien. Do you know what's really sad? Do you mean Alien, the one that comes out of her belly? Uh-huh. It was like called Alien Encounter. What? Okay, a Magic Kingdom? Up. Yes. And do you know what's really sad is when we were there, they'd already replaced it with Stitch. And I thought it was the Stitch Live that was at Disney Paris where you just talk to Stitch. And mm. I was like, oh, no, let's not do that. And then I found out later, it wasn't, it was this unique attraction really? where like, you're, you're in a chair and like things grab your legs and like scurry around and stuff. It was too scary, they closed it down. Wait, 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 what? The, the, the alien Scorny Weaver movie? Yes. Pop alien that comes out the belly. Comes out the belly. They put that at Magic Kingdom. It was called Extra Terrestrial Alien Encounter. What? It was originally conceived to be based on the 1979 film Alien with a xenomorph. Here's a xenomorph. A xenomorph creature, but then it was deemed to be too scary and inappropriate, so they scrapped that idea and they came up with an original alien. Is what this is saying. Ben. Ben. I want to see what this alien looks like. Ben. Yes, it is. What were they thinking? It's closed down. You, it's fine. It is. You can relax. Do they know the park, Magic Kingdom? And they thought, let's put an alien in there. Hey. That's, that's dumb. Maybe they're discussing here. We saw a little close-up of alien. Aliens in Magic Kingdom. Should, should, I, should we get a little clip of it? Of the, the ride? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Electronic attractions around the world. We start at the story. Story is key. Walt Disney still inspires us to this day. We're using new technology to bring characters. What characters are these? Aladdin. I was thinking Prince Eric. Oh, yeah. This is uh, someone from, this is one of the pirates from Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Mmm. And this looks like Dr. Bunsen Honeyduke. Muppet. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready for more, uh... Yeah. A lot of work beyond just the 3D animation. We're always looking for that new angle that's going to engage our guests. And for the first time, we get to debut one of those very important characters. The guests are just gonna love it. That's what makes it all worthwhile. We end up with a beautiful dance. We end up with a beautiful, a beautiful dance. dance. <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, I'm still excited to watch it. That didn't sell it to me, but... We call it Imagineering. You call it a heart attack. <laughs> call it a headache. That's possibly one of the worst videos I've watched <laughs> of Disney. Maybe that's why it's going to YouTube and not Disney Plus. <laughs> what was that? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still excited to watch it. It's like clip, 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 clip. Man's head's down here. Clip, 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 clip. That trailer's not really what? sold it to me. I feel like I was on drugs and I've never done anything in my life. 
Damn, well, if that, maybe you shouldn't if that's enough to like tip you over the edge. Let us know in the comments. Are you excited for we call it Imagineering? Should we check it out? Is Eddie's gonna have like a mental breakdown if he watches if it? If it's edited like that the whole way through, I can't deal with that. That was a lot. <laughs> and if you want to watch another video, then check this one out. Was that not a lot? Uh, it was a lot. It was a lot. I'll give you that. It was like they'd only shot things in like two second clips. <laughs> That's wild. They're trying to make it exciting. Get your attention. Mm.